that all the way to Canada under all these lines. Once we had the permits obtained, we had to get utility clearances and orchestrate the, the bucket trucks and uh, police escorts and, and all the other uh, people that followed us along the route. My name is John Hilliker. I've been in the company since 1999. I am the uh, heavy haul operations dispatcher. It's my company that performed this move, and I couldn't be more proud of the team and the uh, and the professionals that made this come off without a hitch and within budget. My job are to uh, dispatch the trucks accordingly uh, to the customers, and also to set up utilities and uh, the police for uh, major structure moves. Uh, this one came in at a fairly light weight. Uh, the challenge would be in the dimensions of, uh, of the sump that we were hauling. Extremely wide and high, and, uh, and also the route was going to have to travel to the destination in Canada. Uh, had to go through some kind of unfriendly territory. They, Montana had had some uh, bad experiences with some uh, large loads in the past, and there were some uh, groups that didn't like this kind of uh, this kind of load going through their state. So we knew there would be some challenges. Our guys in the office were just outstanding with uh, their knowledge of the route that we had to travel and uh, the obstacles that needed to be overcome. Hiccups, no, nothing real uh, exciting that we had to deal with. We're a service company, and we realize that whenever we perform services, it's usually on public highways or public roads or in a uh, customer's facility. And we recognize that in those facilities and in those areas, we're guests, and our highest obligation is the safety of the public and the safety of our customers. So the first thing that we did was send crews out of drivers and project managers to, to survey the route to find out if we actually had a doable route. Just before we worry about anything else, we want to know that what we can do is, everything we do is going to be safe and not cause a problem or create risks for any other parties. So when we moved this uh, vessel from here to Canada, we were concerned because we were going under a number of lines and in areas where we had the potential to cause a great deal of harm. So we uh, had to go to all of the agencies that owned lines and, and, and so forth, and we had to make sure that we moved those lines in a proper way, that we were moving at a time and a place and in a manner that didn't cause undue hazard for the motoring public or for any of the property that we went by. And, uh, so we had to facilitate a move that was, um, that was overall very safe. And then we worried about efficiency. We had to do it in such a way that uh, we could get it done in, in, in a cost-efficient manner. So uh, we had to use the right equipment, the right personnel, and um, make sure that we had the right plan. Now that was difficult because we were dealing with a number of agencies and a number of owners of lines and so forth. And to coordinate all that was an enormous task. And I couldn't be more proud of my team for coordinating that all together and making sure that this thing went off without a hitch. 